Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this will be a full collection tour of all the spiders in the room. I have 16 tarantulas, one scorpion. So that said, let's get straight into the video. Okay everyone, so as you can see, I'm going to be showing you this shell first. I'll show you this, I'll show you this one and then we'll move on to the other one afterwards. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay everyone, so starting off this, this is the Avicularia vesicella, the pink toe. She is a female, I don't know if you can see her there, because she had webbed up this piece of cork bark and like she's webbed on the glass so it's hard to see her for it if the camera won't pick her up. So this is a female, uh, she is in pre-melt, um, I would try and get her in for a feeding clip but um, obviously she's in pre-melt so she ain't going to take anything down but um, once she melts obviously I'll give you an update and hopefully we'll feed her then. So, with that said, let's get on to the next spider. Okay, well, so now we're on to the P. Reduncus, the orange mouth tarantula. This is another female. As you can see, she's in a tube there. You can see her legs. Um, if you see it on my Instagram, um, you'll see that I rehoused her um, a couple of days ago, and I was able to get a picture um, when I rehoused her, and it is posted on my Instagram. Uh, link in the description below to my Instagram if you want to go and follow. So let's get on to the next spider. Okay, so here we have the Lacidora Parabibana. This is the salmon pink. I'm not sure what this one is, but this one is in pre melt as well. So I'm waiting to get a moat from it so I can see if it's a male or female. Hopefully, a female because these get to a massive, like a very impressive size. So yeah, she, this one is in pre -melt. Um I have, I um, I did raise this one from a sling, so hopefully it is a female because obviously that'd be um really cool to raise a sling, to like have a sling to a massive tarantula if it becomes a female. So um, yeah, hopefully this one is a female, and so let's go on to the next spider. Okay, so here we have the curly hair, the T. Apobelosis. I think I said that right. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. Well, I'm still learning how to um, pronounce this one, but this is the curly hair. Um, this is a mature male. Um, I think we had him. I've had him for around three years now. It wasn't long after I got the chaco girl in me. Um, he was on sex, so obviously he melted, he did one melt when we had him, and he ended up being a mature male, unfortunately, so, um, yeah, um, so with that said, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Okay, people, so this is now the Nandu Tritepi, the, the giant desert blonde, so this one is unsexed, and I'm not sure if it's a male or female yet. So it looks more like a male. As you can see, it's, it's got quite long like legs. His front two legs are pretty long. So in his next male, um, if he's a male, he should be, I'm only guessing that he'll be a mature male. Um, in his next male, oh, he's on the move. Um, yeah, so I am waiting for him to um, do his next male. And um, yeah, so let's move on to the next spider. Okay, well, so we're now on the second shelf. So to start off with, we're going to start off with the Grandma Sola Portery, my Tinian Rosa. She is my first tarantula I had since I got in the hobby. Um, she is a female. I actually got her off one of my friends. He asked me if I wanted her, so I said, why not? So he gave her to me. Um, I've had her for four years. She melted twice since I've had her. I'll say that she is fully grown now. And yeah, she is my main tarantula on my channel. So um, yeah, let's move on to the next tarantula. Okay, so I'm gonna show you these two together. So this is the Afona Palma Calcodes, the Arizona Blonde, and the Davis Pentaloris, the Gorsum Island Tiger Rump. Uh, this one is um, I'm guessing this, this one's in pre-melt because it hasn't eaten in a while now. 
Like, I'm waiting for it to melt so I can find out if it's a male or female. And this one is the, obviously, the Guatemala tiger ramp. This is a female. Might as well take the lid off. As you can see her there. Uh, both of these aren't, like, eating anything. I don't know if they're both in pre melt, but they haven't eaten in quite a while. So, um, yeah, I guess we have to wait and see. And see what happens, really. So let's get on to the next spider. Alright, so this is the Brachypelma Amelia. This one is roughly like, just, I wouldn't say it's a sling. I'd say it's like nearly a juvenile now. Um, again, if you're seen on my Instagram, you would have seen I rehouse this one into this one now. Um, it's doing alright ever since. Obviously, as you can see, it's burrowed uh, down into the corner here. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, I can maybe sex it in the next melt. Find out if it's a male or female. And um, I'll give you guys an update. Let's get on to the next spider. Okay, so this is my Grandma Stola poacher piece, the Chackle Gold in me. Um, hopefully, I said that right. Um, I apologise if I haven't. Um, so, this is the Chackle Gold in me. Um, so, this one is a mature male. Uh, it's pretty big for a mature male, I'm not gonna lie. Um, he is pretty boaty, so I'm gonna have to make this one a bit quick. Um, yeah, this is mature male. Um, I bought it as a juvenile. This was my second transfer I had. So, um, bit guide, but it ended up being a mature male. But I guess that's things. That's how things go when you're in the trench of a hobby. You get males and you get females. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that one there and let's move on to the next one. Alright, so if you've seen my last video, uh, you would have seen um, box um, slings and a juvenile. So these are the three slings here, which I'll go through them again. So this is the Kilo Brachys Hornhini, the Asian Fawn. The Frixopelma Lagunas, the Blue Barrier. The P. Romania, the Sun Tiger. I hope I said that right. And the C. Darlingi, which wasn't in the video. This is another sling that I've got, which I'll show you now. You can see him there. It's pretty small still. So um, obviously I'll give you updates on all of these um, as time goes by. Any melts and stuff. So um, yeah, that's the three, the four slings I got. And we got two more tarantulas and a scorpion left today. So let's get on to it. All right, well, so this is the H Gigas um, Cameroon Red Baboon. I'm going to have to make this one very quick because as soon as I pulled the um, enclosure out I didn't realise he was out like in the open and so I took the lid off so I'm going to make this quick to, I'm going to make this quick because he's hardly he's ever out um, normally he bolts off like really quick so this one is unfortunately a mature male uh, I bought this as a juvenile um, and unfortunately this one ended up being a mature male um, he is very bossy, so um, I'm going to have to make this one really quick because I'm surprised he stayed out when I took the lid off. I didn't realise. Because every time I take the lid off, he's normally always in his hide here. But not this time when I'm recording. So that's actually pretty... That's, that's good Good for you guys so you can see what he looks like. So yeah, that's the HG, yes. Let's move on to the last tarantula. So here we have the final tarantula on this video. Uh, this is the Nandu Chromatus, the Brazilian red and white. So like I said before when I showed you the slings, if you send my first video you would have seen the rehousing of this one. So this one is a juvenile. I think I'll be able to show you. Oh, unfortunately he is in the corner. I'll see if I can get him out. Uh, so I'll cut the camera here and I'll see if I can get him out. So unfortunately, I couldn't get this one to come out. Um, he just won't move. So, um, but if you see, if you see, if you go back 
on my first video, you'll see them in that one. So, yeah. So I've got to show you the scorpion now, and then that'll be the end of the video. So let's get on to the scorpion. All right, people. So this is the Asian forest jungle scorpion. I've had this one for, I think it's like come up two years now that I've had them for. I don't know if it's a male or female because it hasn't like molted since I've ever had them. Um, yeah, this is the only scorpion I have in my collection for now. Um, I am hoping to um, get more. As you can see, he's moving now. He's going to go in, he's gonna go in his hide. There, now he's gone. <laughs> so yeah, like as I was saying, I'm hoping to get some more scorpions. Um, I'm going to make that as a video, like an unboxing video. So stay tuned for that one. And yeah, um, I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll see you again shortly. So there we have it guys. That has been the full collection tour. You've seen all the tarantulas and the scorpion. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. I do just want your own opinions. Comment down below, subscribe if you want to, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.